everybody about Lisa Thomas Laurie. She's been with WPVI Channel 6 for 38 years, starting in the 12 o'clock news with Jim O'Brien from 1978 to 1983. And from 83 to the 2000s, she does the 5 and 5.30 newscasts with Mark Howard. She also has an incredible book. Ow! This is called On Camera and Off, When News is Good and When It Is Not. Which please welcome the author of that, great newscaster, good friend of mine, and friend to yours, Lisa Thomas Laurie. Welcome to the show. David, thank you, thank you. Okay. Finally, I get to be on your show. Oh, yes indeed. <laughs> some, of my, some of my friends are like, what? You yeah, go have Lisa Thomas Lori on your show, and you go like, "Good luck, David." After that, get some Schlitz beer. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, tell me about how you first got started at Channel Six. Let's see. Well, I was working down in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been working there two years. Liked it very much, but a talent scout came through. Uh -huh. A PBI talent scout, um, a black man named Joe Hunter. And he saw me do a report. I was an education reporter. But he called me up and asked um, if I'd like to come to Philadelphia. And I was in the 30th market, in the 33rd market. So Philly was the fourth market. So it was quite a jump. Very big so, jump. Yeah. So I, I was very excited when I came up for an interview. And one thing I forgot to tell this audience um, that before Oprah went to Chicago, she came for the interview in Philly. She interviewed for the same job. Oh, yeah. And she was turned down. Oh, no. Yeah. So. And I got it. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a story behind that, too, but mm -hmm. we, we, can, we can keep it quiet today. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so, Philadelphia rejects Oprah, but they love Lisa. <laughs> Before we continue, here is um, Chuck Strongback to bring you the history of WPVI and how it was meant to be on your TVs. So, without further ado, here's Chuck with the very latest about the history of Channel 6. This is the part where I do all the, um, do all the um, announcement stuff. And right. Chuck Strongback, he sounds something like this. He's like a bit more <laughs> generous voice on your TV. So okay. Okay, here we go. Welcome back. We are here with Lisa once again. Now, in the in the mid in the mid nineteen nineties, we were doing the five o'clock news. How was that? Well, I enjoyed the the five o'clock news because before I was actually a co-anchor with Mark Howard, mm -hmm. I was like the third anchor, except I was out in the field. Mm -hmm. You know, they had two anchors, Mark and Jim, and then they. They promoted me as the third anchor, and I would do the top story, the big, whatever the big story was. I would do it every day from the location. And I did that for five or six years, and then um, it was sort of nice to come into the studio. But, but I always liked reporting, too. But um, I got to do some very interesting stories. Very interesting. Yes. yes. <laughs> so anyway, when you when you're about to retire from Channel Six, mm -hmm. um, was that your decision to um, make that decision? Yes. Well, yeah, it was a bittersweet time. You know, when I first got sick, David, I um, I was surprised at how well the station treated me because I had to leave and focus on my health to find out what was going on because I, I didn't have the correct diagnosis at first. And then uh, the station kept the door open, you know, for a while. They would say my name at the end of the newscast, just like everybody else, and I wasn't there for about six months. And then after, um, it looked like I was going to have to have a bone marrow transplant and be, I was going to be off more than a year. They, they had to give somebody that anchor job, and they always left the door open for me to come back and report. So I did. I came back after almost three years in 2007. But I would do little things every now and then, like one um, when I was feeling pretty good after the transplant. I went up and I did Oprah's um, Legends Ball. Remember when she had the Legends Ball? Oh, yes. I went up to, um, and reported on that. And when she had her 25th anniversary of her show, I reported on that. And then on Thanksgiving sometimes, they would send a camera 
and I would make a little appearance on the Thanksgiving parade. But I came back part time, three days a week, um, in January 2007. Wow. And not as an anchor, but I would fill an anchor. You know, fill an anchor. I would fill it. Wow. So it was different, but I enjoyed it. Indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty cool. And now, while Lisa was doing her big career in action news, you hear the famous theme song. <laughs> Al Ham rewrote it, and it's called Move Closer to Your World. I got a report about that, so here's the big story right about now. <laughs> Thank you, Dave and Lisa. And now, Move Closer to Your World. When the Action News format debuted in 1970, WFIL-TV commissioned its first theme from Tom Sellers, a student from Temple University. Tom Sellers' Action News theme bore similarities to the later theme, Move Closer to Your World, being in the same key and centered around a trumpet lead and a timpani-driven climax finish. But had more of a jazz rock arrangement. Listen. <laughs> Sounds good, huh? Well, here's some more information. In 1972, Triangle Publishers exited the television business and sold WPVI to Capital Cities Communications, who commissioned more a professional theme by Al Ham, an established session music composer and arranger with several other themes to his credit. The end result, Move Closer to Your World, will be distributed across Capital Cities stations, along with a slighter, modified version of WPVI's Action News format. Listen to this. <laughs> The history of Move Closer to Your World. I'm Chuck Strongbacks for The David Show. And now, back to David and Lisa Thomas Laurie. Well, anyway, it was great having Lisa Thomas Laurie. You've seen the talk about the book, and here is the book right here. It's called On Camera and Off When the News is Good and When It Is Not. You can find it on Amazon.com or you can check it out at Center City's. SEPTA's st Transit Store, located yeah. at 1234 Market Street. Or you can also get it at Camino Books. At Camino Books, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check out Camino Books. Well, Lisa, thanks very much for the time you have shared with us. You're very welcome, David. And, and also, of course, we at KBJW like Sorry. to award our guests. So, this is our certificate of participation from the David Show to you, Lisa Thomas-Laurie, thank you for being Thank here with you. us.
Thank you. I treasure it. Oh, shucks. <laughs> well, for Lisa Thomas Laurie, I'm David Washington. Have a good night tonight. Oh, sorry, Jim. <laughs>